On this most pleasantly clear evening, conditions absolutely beautiful, perfect for the beautiful game. Temperatures are kind as well, no doubt playing a hand in high attendance levels as well as an elevated level of anticipation here. Surely this is the hot ticket going around in this neck of the woods, it surely must be. One glance and you know where we are. It is one of the most recognisable arenas for the beautiful game in the world. And boy, does it add to the occasion. If you're just joining us, we are already underway. He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. Looking for a decent ball in. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to goal, and he didn't go for the back heel. Tries to locate someone up front. Now it's Tarat. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Weigel gets it back. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Looks to bypass the midfield. Ruben Diaz cuts it out. Pizzi. It's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really. To be honest, I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. A promising ball. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? And that's sprayed out wide. What a throw in. Back in once more. Weigel. Benfica going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. Weigel passes it forward. And there is the half-time whistle. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, this has proved a very frustrating day so far, especially for the strikers. Nothing has 